welcome ladies and gents. This is not that much of a surprise, but basically Matilda, it's a, it's a new musical, it's been released and it's toppled Black Panther 2 at the UK box office, which is an important thing to note because Black Panther, Wakanda Forever's uh, biggest external market, outside that anything outside of the USA, the domestic, was actually the UK. The UK has been doing really, really well. Uh, for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. But yeah, Matilda the Musical has obliterated it. Smashed it. Right? Which again, not a huge stretch that that was going to happen. Um, it was one of those things that was bound to happen. Because one, it's like third weekend for Black Panther 2. Secondly, musicals do really well. Uh, they're sort of sleeper hits, generally speaking. No one expects them to do well, but then they do. And people are always like, huh, what's going on here? So... It's kind of one of those things that, yeah, was kind of to be expected. But let's dive into this. Uh, before we do, ladies and gents, please do check out the second channel, which is linked down below. I'm live streaming again, uh, and you'll see uh, the link in the description box is Mr. H Refuse Live Archive. Second channel, there's live archive clips, uh, feature length episodes, everything's there. Check it out. But yeah, th this will be pretty big because the thing here is that the UK being one of the biggest markets that Black Panther 2 was released in, this will hurt Black Panther 2 considerably on its goal to hit that $800 million mark. Um, and like any anything under that, Disney won't be happy. That's not going to be a good taking under Disney's uh, sort of current regime and, and how they're looking. And, and also as well... Important to note how overall their financials are. I mean, they've literally just lost over $147 million on an animation film, which is almost unheard of for Disney. It, that's an incredibly rare occurrence, especially across the Thanksgiving weekend. So anything under $800 million, Disney's not going to be pleased. So Matilda the Musical smashing Black Panther 2 out of the UK box office is eh, not good for... It's not good for Disney. Disney won't be pleased with this. Uh, at all. But anyway, starring Emma Thompson uh, as this individual, uh, Miss Trunchen, I think the name was. Or Trunchbull, I can't remember the bloody name. But anyway, the Sony Netflix adaptation of the phenomenally successful stage musical. That's what it was. You know, obviously, the original is a Roald Dahl uh, adaptation. Uh, but then, obviously, this one is an adaptation of a stage show musical. But it was given an exclusive theatrical run in the UK and Ireland, giving more, earning more than 50% of the overall box office in its opening weekend. So it took over 50% of the entire weekend's box office is just because of one movie, which is huge. That's bloody big. Now, just as an FYI, we're not going to be talking about huge numbers here. That's really important to note. Uh, but interestingly... I believe this still earned uh, somewhere in the region close to or more than the film that Disney lost money on, Strange Worlds. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain. But anyway, so an adaptation of the stage musical uh, about a studious schoolgirl. We we all know what Matilda is. It's a it's a pretty good story. I mean, I, I like the original movie. Uh, good fun. Uh, but it's toppled Black Panther Wakanda Forever from the top of the UK box office. Now, this is important because... Uh, this is obviously an exclusive theatrical run for the UK and Ireland, but then what comes out next? Well, then it's Avatar. So this could actually signify the end of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, uh, box office run of any significant standing in the UK. That could be it done, which is big. So Rod Dahl's Matilda the Musical took $5 million in its opening weekend, uh, so $5 million. Again, I'm not talking huge numbers, but the fact that this was one of the biggest markets uh, externally for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, that's a big thing. Uh, that was more than half the overall box office, and that was from director Matthew Warchus, uh, and based on his own hugely successful Royal Shakespeare Company production, which itself was based on Roald Dahl's beloved children's book. The film earned an estimated 50% more than the Black Panther sequel, five times that of fellow new opener Strange World. Ha 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 ha, lol. Uh, at current exchange rates, it is 60% ahead of the Greatest Showman, which also opened during the Holiday Corridor, and that's the other thing, right? You know, that was another pretty big musical. I don't know why the UK loves bloody musicals. I, I personally can't stand them, but whatever. Now, starring Emma Thompson, Lashana Lynch, a newcomer, uh, Alicia Weir, 
the film, a Netflix and Sony tries their partnership from Working Title and the Roald Dahl Story Company, has been given an exclusive theatrical release in the UK and Ireland by Sony just under two months after it opened uh, the BFI London Film Festival in early October. It lands on Netflix across the rest of the world Christmas Day. So I don't know how long this exclu exclusive run is going to go on for. Um, there's not a, you know, uh, but it's still, the end result is this will now knock Black Panther Wakanda Forever down. The situation with that film now, uh, it r will rely solely on the US. Uh, that's the only market that can you know lead this company, this company, this movie uh, to success. Now there's going to be no other way that film will be successful uh, outside of the US saving it. Because again, you know, we have uh, the likes of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and it's not really done that well. Um, even in the US, across this sort of Thanksgiving weekend, it did okay. Not horrendous, but they're talking about $65 million over five days. I mean, that's basically a week, for goodness sake. Um, you, that's not really a good one. Um, but they even say, you know, the Thanksgiving Wednesday to Sunday stretch wasn't one for the record books. Uh, it ranked outside the top ten with an estimated $122 million uh, or 14% from a year ago. Uh, that's when we had more COVID fears. A uh, less robust Marvel title in the marketplace. Uh, and a solid adult draw uh, in House of Gucci. So there was loads of other movies which have done better. Uh, even in Kanto, you know, that did $40.5 in its five-day launch. Not, not terrible. Uh, Black Friday, a typical potent day at the box office, also came up short from last year, down 12%. With $33.7 million versus 2021's $38.3 million. Not a massive drop off, but still drop off enough. Um, but like I said, you know, in terms of Wakanda Forever and, you know, its sort of box office success, that will now just rely solely on the States. So Wakanda Forever's Friday, uh, $18.2 million, was more than the $16 to $17 million that the industry rivals were figuring. So it's done, it's done better. It has done better. Uh, Saturday was at $17.6 million. Despite the continued riches of Wakanda flowing into Disney coffers, uh, obviously they're, they're still not... If you, if you work it out in terms of their overall box office takings for films that they've released, they're still down because Strange World has lost them over $147 million. But I just thought this was interesting. I just thought this was a really, really interesting thing that you know a sleeper hit like Matilda has just absolutely smashed Black Panther 2. Uh, out of the box office. And again, now it's just the states that will lead Black Panther 2 to uh, any semblance of success. Anything under $800 million, which I think that they are actually touting it to be, they think that it'll end about 800 to $850 million, which I still don't think Disney will view that as a huge success. I think they'll still be quite disappointed with that. Um, but it remains to be seen. It'll be interesting nonetheless. Uh, drop your thoughts down below. Matilda the Musical, you interested in this? I didn't even... I saw, I knew this thing existed and I and I thought that this would actually end up being competition for Avatar. And I know that sounds dumb, but seriously, guys, never underestimate the popularity of a musical. It, it's, it's bizarre. Trust me, I think it's bizarre. But yeah, people absolutely love musicals. <laughs>